Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Alina with Bonanza Crip. Today I'm going to share with you some of our thoughts on Asante. Asante is building a multi-chain set of protocols connecting centralized and decentralized resources to make different pieces of new internet, which are continually being born as building blocks work together. The problem they aim to solve is data and platforms being scattered all around. Asante wants to provide a new cohesive framework that will put data and platforms where it is stored together and facilitate comfortable and quick interactions. In terms of technology, Asante is a modular decentralized interoperability and data management framework composed of two components. Essence, in which entities own their data interlinking the macro multiple services. They can be of individuals, companies, groups, or organizations, effectively creating decentralized internet users, making interoperability between them also possible by sub-IDs, permissions, and self-triggering information-related smart contracts. Synergy is the connective tissue of operations. They link different platforms, resources, and modules together for them to be able to interoperate. Developers can build on top of the two components and users can pay for linear, more powerful and efficient applications on the Essentia framework that run across all the best technologies around the globe, opposed to a single one. The Essentia framework expands to fit users' ever-growing decentralized life. Users can easily adapt platforms and wallets. By expanding, Ascentia allows users to access all of the blockchain-based tools they have added from one place. Various blockchains are supported by Ascentia, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. It can work on any device, IOT or CLI. The safety of companies and users' data and privacy is enhanced with verification procedures. KYC and GDPR are said to be completed before gaining access to the platform. According to the information on their website, the Essenia project was launched early in 2018. The roadmap features the platform development plan until approximately the end of next year. It outlines details of software development and mentors some business and marketing activities such as ICO in the first quarter of 2018 and bounties, participation in international events, meetups and aid drops in the last quarter of the year. The Sentia team is based on Geneva, Switzerland. It is led by four co-founders. Matojan Petro Zago, the project lead. His background features a success story of building and developing his own business from scratch, working now with Fortune 500 companies such as Uber, Alphabet, Facebook, Tencent and more. Mateo wrote two Amazon bestsellers, the Facebook Bible and the Twitter Marketing Guide. Marco Mangardino, the product lead. Experience in web entrepreneurship. Merkel discovered Bitcoin in 2013 and has been passionate about the blockchain technology ever since. Starting building companies from a bedroom when he was 16, he now manages more than 40 people spread across seven countries, with offices in Amsterdam, Viv, and Dubai. Vladimir Halabovich, the operations lead, he began his career creating viral advertising for Italian companies initially and for international ones when he was 19. Vladimir took a great interest in blockchain and began to develop this direction in Eastern Europe from 1214 to today. The blockchain and architecture lead, who prefers to stay anonymous, the Stenny design and development team features 21 specialists, 9 others are working on the business and communication side of the project. The advisory board of Asante includes six experts, among them you will find Mo Levin, the co-founder of the first accredited blockchain academy, Eric van der Stock, an advisor to the European Commission and certified business coach for innovative startups in the European Horizon 2020 EASME program, Thomas Graham, a managing partner at TLDR, a crypto advisory firm and hedge fund that works with ICOs like Quantstamp. Jan Marston, an ex-strategic sales lead of Motorola Solutions, with 20 years experience in new markets with explosive technical growth. Ismail Malik, a member of the board of Aiken Foundation featuring over 20 years experience in technology-related startups and entrepreneurship covering cryptocurrencies and mobile payments in the City of London, working with leading firms such as Vodafone, Salnet 
and Use International. Francesco Fusetti, a serial digital entrepreneur who raised $19 million with his charity project AidCoin. He is also the CEO and co-founder of Charity Stars, AidCoin and SchoolAzoo. A center will implement masternodes with a total block reward corresponding to 10% of the total supply of tokens ever existing to be POs mined over the course of the next seven years, plus the fees for each block. There is no section dedicated to media coverage on the Ascenti website. Most of the publications about the project on the Internet are those on websites that provide ICO reviews and listings. Their Twitter account has 5,000 following and their Telegram group is read by 26 and 600 users. We couldn't find any mention of how the Ascenti team is going to handle the competition or their vision of the business risk they are facing. The white paper focuses solely on the technology side of the development and doesn't go into business development details. This could mean that either they so firmly believe that their product is unique enough to break through or have just been a bit careless. Nevertheless, this seems quite unusual for this kind of project. The problem that Ascendi aims to solve exists, but they are not the only ones working in this direction. We would therefore love to see better understanding of the competition and risks. Normally, similar projects provide a bit of analysis and research on this part. Another thing we would expect to see from Ascendi is how the token sale proceeds will be used. Last but not the least, we couldn't find the exact data of the token sale. The roadmap mentions that it is scheduled for the first quarter of 2018, and to Today is April 13th, which means there are already 13 days overdue and they won't be able to stick to the schedule. According to this post, the Sunny project lead, Matteo Zago, the pre-sale has been live since the beginning of April. But this is the only source of the information. We saw similar projects provide such details with their official resources quickly before launching the sales process. Let us hope that Essentia will do exactly that. On the positive side, the white paper describes the technology and development process in 34 pages, which gives the impression of technical expertise and a thorough approach to technology. Please note that this review by Bonanza Crip is all opinion and analysis, not investment advice. Thank you guys for watching this video. In case you want to know more about Cynthia, take a look at the website. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.